Hello everyone, I am Monica Bhushan. Today we are starting lecture number 6 of Linear Algebra. In today's class, we are going to see the elementary transformations or elementary operations on a matrix. Okay, so these elementary transformations come under two types. Elementary row transformation, okay, and the second is called as elementary column transformation. What does it mean? That for a matrix, we can perform the transformations based on entire row, okay? And we can perform elementary transformations based on entire column of a matrix. And why we are going for these elementary transformations? What is the need of going through this topic? And the reason is we have to perform many more operations on matrix. Sometimes we have to find the rank of the matrix. Sometimes we have to find the inverse of the matrix. More concepts we have to deal on matrix. For that, we need to have some equivalent matrices on that matrix. So we have to perform these operations. Okay, we are going to discuss this in detail. Okay, and here are the different methods under these transformations. Okay, so what we are writing down here that this elementary transformation or operation on matrix is nothing but these three things we are going to discuss. Okay, fine. So very first elementary transformation is what we are going to deal with interchange of any two rows or interchange of any two columns. Okay, at once either we are going to perform the elementary row operation or we are going to perform elementary column operations. Both simultaneously we cannot do. We are going to discuss the example also for that. And the second method is what? Multiplication of any row or multiplication of any column by a non-zero constant. We have seen scalar multiplication. Remember, we have covered scalar multiplication on the matrix. So, this is scalar multiplication is what? Any constant other than zero, okay? Any constant we can multiply on a matrix and that will get applicable on each and every element on that matrix. But here what we are going to do? We are going to do the multiplication of any row, any particular row by a non-zero constant. That means that constant will get multiplied to entire element of that particular row or entire element of that particular column. Okay, fine. Now the third method is what? Addition of any row or addition of any column to a constant multiple of any other row or to a constant multiple of any other column. Okay, we are going to see what, what these things mean to us. Okay, now the very important term is equivalent matrix. Okay, what is equivalent matrix? So, two matrices, suppose A and B, two matrices we are talking about, but both matrices are of same order or both matrices are of same dimension. They are said to be equivalent if one matrix can be obtained from the other by a finite number of successive elementary row or successive elementary column transformations. Okay, so that is called as equivalent matrices. Fine, so that means what? Suppose you started with any matrix A, okay. Now you are going to perform any number of elementary row or elementary column operation on that particular matrix. But at each and every step, what the new numbers which are going to be inside that matrix, okay, the new arrangement will be formed that will be called as equivalent matrix, okay. Both matrices will be actually equivalent only. So suppose we are going to start the example on this matrix. So matrix is what? The matrix is containing some elements which are A1, A2, A3. This is in your first row. Second row is having B1, B2, B3 and the third row is having C1, C2, C3. Okay, so this is a general form. Then we will be seeing with some numerical values also. This is nothing but some 3 cross 3 matrix. Okay, now we are going to write down all elementary row operation in a tabular form. Similarly, we will be writing down all our elementary column operation in a tabular form. Just to refer these things, it will be helpful before your exam. And then we will be performing those with respect to numerical values also. Okay, so what this table says that there are three elementary row operations. Just now we are only talking about row operation. 
okay so very first operation is what interchange the first and second row any example we have taken you can interchange second or third row first and third or any rows okay okay so interchange of first and second row will be denoted like this okay now what does it mean the matrix which we started with was having the first row was having a's and the second row was having b now if you are performing r1 interchange r2 that means nothing but you are going to write down all those elements which is present in your second row will be present in your first row and then the first row elements will come into the second row but all elements will be performed okay so same thing we have seen here fine no so the second point is what multiplication of third row by a constant k again this is just one example you can write down second row or first row any row that means if you are multiplying the third row with any constant so that is also acceptable and how you are going to write first row will be as it is you are not going to change the first row from your previous matrix right the starting matrix we are taking example and now the second row is also as it is now what about my third row third row i'm just multiplying any scalar quantity for sure this scalar quantity is not zero but this k will get multiplied to each and every element which is present in this entire row how many elements will be there i'm going to multiply this k with in all those elements fine now the third point is what addition to second row k times the first row one example what they are saying that to the first row that means you are going to first multiply k times first row okay k times first row and then you are performing the addition to the second row that is going to happen on your r2 the second row will be replaced with k r1 plus r2 that is only written no addition to second row k times the first row okay so that only we have written down here first row and third row is as it is second row instead of b1 b2 b3 so we are performing k into a1 plus b1 fine no k into a1 plus b1 similarly k k into a2 plus b2 similarly k into a3 plus b3 okay we'll see these things in the example also fine so this is some example we have taken this is my matrix a the matrix is of which dimension or the matrix is of which order so three rows and four columns so three cross four this matrix is not square matrix this is the rectangular matrix fine elementary row or column operation can be performed on any matrix fine no okay so very first operation what we are going to perform we are doing what we are interchanging r1 and r2 fine no so a equivalent that means what that means this matrix is now going to be called as equivalent matrix with this arrangement of numbers a is actually equivalent to this arrangement and what is this arrangement nothing you are just going to interchange uh, this r1 okay and this r2 fine no fine and the third will be as it is because you have not written down anything on the third row okay now the second operation what we are going to perform is what we are going to multiply minus 1 into r2 fine no r2 is now going to be minus r2 minus r2 is what minus 1 into r2 so r1 and r3 will be as it is from this matrix r1 and r3 will be as it is just r2 you have to do what you are going to put the minus sign on each and every element of this row okay fine now the third operation what we are going to perform is nothing but r3 is going to be minus 2 r1 plus r3 fine that means for r1 you have not said anything r1 and r1 will be as it is and you have not said anything on r2 r2 and r2 will be as it is just you are going to change r3 that means r3 will be what minus 2 r1 plus r3 okay fine so that means what is your r1 r1 is this 2 3 5 4 now minus 2 r1 on each and every element you are going to perform this operation so if first element you are talking about so minus 2 into 2 fine no plus r3 is your 4 that means this is what minus 2 minus 4 plus 4 so this is your 0 similarly here also doing the same thing okay minus 2 minus 2 into 3 is your minus 6 okay minus 6 plus r3 so r3 is what 8 okay so this is nothing but 2 so you have written down here 
and same way you have done the other operation also fine so this is one example of your elementary row operation this is the table for elementary column operation so the same thing we have done okay so very first so very first method is what interchange of first and second column just one example first and second column we are interchanging initially the matrix was what a1 a2 a a1 a2 a3 then b1 b2 b3 and then c1 c2 c3 this was the matrix which you started with now you are just interchanging column one with column two so column right now that means this vertical line you are talking about so write down here a2 b2 c2 fine no and then here write down a1 b1 c1 and column three will be as it is here you are not going to see the row wise element you are going to see the column wise arrangement fine similarly the second uh, method is what multiplication of third column by any constant k so the column that means first column as it is i'm talking with respect to this matrix similarly similarly this is your second column as it is just the third column will be multiplied with k with each and every element which is present in this column okay now with respect to this matrix only what we are performing here addition to second column k times k times the first column okay then addition to second column okay so that means c2 will be now k c1 plus c2 so c1 and c3 is as it is only in your c2 what you are writing down k into c1 k into c1 that means k a1 plus c2 initially c2 was having what initially c2 was having a2 so k a1 plus a2 and so on fine now this is the example on the same matrix whatever we have just now seen we are now starting to perform column wise operations okay even in one matrix you can perform suppose you are performing right now column operation now you can perform the second time you can perform the row operation there is no any problem okay but the column operation will get applied to entire column row operation will get applied to entire row only this is there this is c1 and then c2 you are just uh, interchanging so you have interchanged c1 and c2 now the new matrix is this one which is equivalent to the previous matrix okay so these two matrices are equivalent matrices fine now we are going to see operation on this matrix so what we have done now we have just done the minus c2 okay so c2 is now minus c2 this is nothing but the scalar multiplication c1 and then c2 c1 and then c3 and c4 as it is just in your c2 you have done the you have multiplied minus 1 in each and every element now this is equivalent matrix of your previous matrix the third operation is what c3 is now minus 2 c1 plus c3 that means c1 is as it is okay both c1 as it is both c2 as it is okay c3 only i'm going to change and c4 as it is okay so only c3 i have to make the changes so c3 is what this is your you are going to write minus 3 is what now minus 2 into c1 c1 is what minus 2 okay and then plus c3 plus minus 3 that means this is your plus 4 minus 3 is 1 so here it in 1 perform the operation on again this element also so what you are going to do here this is your minus 2 into c1 so corresponding here the element is your 3 fine no and then plus c3 so plus 5 so minus 6 plus 5 is nothing but minus 1 and so on then you will get minus 3 also okay so this way we perform the elementary row operation and elementary column operation and why we are actually interested in these operations because we have to see many more advanced concepts so for that we have to get many equivalent matrices based on this elementary operations fine no so if you find this class useful please like and subscribe my channel thank you